Good evening and welcome to our devotion during the month of November, a month of course devoted to our prayer for all our loved ones who have died, all the faithful departed. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of Christ, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Book of Lamentations. My soul is shut out from peace, I have forgotten happiness. And now I say, my strength is gone, that hope which comes from Yahweh. <clears throat> Brooding on my anguish and affliction is gall and wormwood. My spirit ponders it continually and sinks within me. This is what I shall tell my heart and so recover hope. The favours of the Lord are not all past. His kindnesses are not exhausted. Every morning they are renewed. Great is his faithfulness. My portion is the Lord, says my soul, and so I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who trust him, to the soul that searches for him. It is good to wait in silence for the Lord to save. Again, this reading from the Book of Lamentations is one not chosen frequently for funeral masses. <clears throat> Perhaps its first lines, though, are intended for us who mourn the loss of a loved one. Again, as so often the scriptures do, they identify our feelings. My soul is shut out from peace. I have forgotten happiness. My strength is gone. Often that feeling of a lack of peace and the difficulty in being happy is, is one of the effects of the pain of, of loss. So perhaps at the beginning of our prayer we, we could, as we remember always our faithful departed, also remember all those who grieve, who find it difficult after the loss of a loved one to find happiness. Perhaps even those of you who are praying just now are still struggling to find happiness in your life after the loss of a loved one. I pray that the, the hope which this reading goes on to speak about will be something that will sustain you. That realisation that the favours of the Lord are not in the past, that there are still good things for us to enjoy. His kindnesses are not exhausted, the reading tells us. Every morning they are renewed. Sometimes when, when we labour under the pain of something in our life, it's hard to see the renewing of the Lord's promises every morning of his kindnesses. So in a particular way, let's remember those for whom the pain of loss is still very raw that they have a sense in waking tomorrow morning that the good things of the Lord are not in the past and that he renews his promises and kindnesses every morning. We recall, of course, all our faithful, those who have trusted in him. 
That's what the reading has told us. The Lord is good to those who trust in him, the soul that searches for him. Trusting and searching, two different things, perhaps. Perhaps we remember those of our relatives who have died, who have given us great example of trusting in the Lord. And yes, they will see the Lord, and the Lord will be good to them, as the reading says. But also the Lord, this reading says, is good to those that search for him. You know, we've also had experience in our life of those who have searched for the Lord and perhaps not appeared to quite find the Lord. They have, they have looked and, and found it difficult because faith, of course, is a gift from the Lord himself. And sometimes it might seem that someone has sought without being able to find. But the Lord is good to those who search. We pray for anyone, particularly those who struggled to find the Lord in life, that whatever they sought, whatever they looked for and didn't quite find in the presence of the Lord will be revealed to them now in the presence of God in heaven, that their searching has finished and that they have now found the Lord. It's good to wait in silence for the Lord to save. Out of the depths I have cried to thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If thou, O Lord, will mark iniquities, Lord, who shall stand it? For with thee there is mercy, and by reason of thy law I have waited in thee, O Lord. My soul hath relied in his word, my soul hath hoped in the Lord, from the morning watch even until night. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy and plentiful redemption and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Let's pause now a moment and pray and bring into the presence of the Lord all our faithful departed who have died. Our Lord comes to raise the dead and comforts us with the solace of his love. In reverence, let us pray to God, the source of all mercies. For Francis, our Pope, for the bishops, and for all who minister in the church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world, for prosperity, for the church, for the unity of Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For the relief of the poor, the comfort of the afflicted, and for the healing of the sick, let us pray to the Lord. For the eternal rest of those who have died, for the departed who worship the Lord here with us, and for those who have died alone, Lord, hear us. For those who have lost someone they loved, for those who were unable to say goodbye, and for those who are suffering the pain of grief, Lord, hear us. For confidence in the loving mercy of God, for faith in the resurrection to new life, 
and for the hope of being reunited in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, remember the love with which you graced your servants in life. Receive them, we pray, into the mansions of the saints. Look with favour on those who mourn and comfort them in their loss. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. I thank my God.